Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another edition of Foodie Fridays. So this Foodies Fridays is a viewer's choice. So I put a poll on YouTube for y'all to vote on which menu item in my meal plan you wanted to see on Foodie this week. And this was hands down the winner. I think the second place winner was the dessert, but this slow cooker Cajun chicken fettuccine hands down won the vote. So that is what we're making here today. Now, before I get into the ingredients, I'm also going to be doing kind of a little of a collab with my girl Vanessa from Lemonade Mom. She's doing a mini series on her channel on everything Instapot. So if you have an Instapot but not a crock pot, I know some people have one or the other and she mentioned the same thing, then definitely go check out her channel. I'll have her channel and that specific video of her first day of her mini series linked down below in the description box. Her first video that she posted, posted was awesome. She posted it yesterday. I watched it and it was great. It makes me want to go get an Instapot actually. <laughs> it was the top five easiest things to cook in the Instapot and they were wonderful tips and ideas to use your Instapot. So if you don't have a slow cooker and you're watching my video and you have an Instapot, definitely head to Vanessa's channel and go and show her some love and watch that video. It's definitely helpful and I think you will enjoy it. So definitely tell her that I sent you over to her channel. So we're going to be using the slow cooker grow slow cooker though because that's all mama has and like I said this was a vote from you guys before we get into the ingredients also this is the first time I've made this recipe and let me just say that there are definitely some things that I would tweak for next time it's the title of it says Cajun I'm in southern Louisiana I know what Cajun is about I'm not sure where this original recipe originated from but it was not spicy at all with the original ingredients i'm going to tell you the original ingredients because you might not have a palate like mine that likes spicy food since i've been born and raised around it and you might think that these ingredients actually are spicy so if you have a palate that likes spicy foods take my recommendations if you don't make the recipe originally like I made it on here and what the original recipe called for. So before I tell you the original recipe ingredients and what I used for this first time, I would suggest instead of using the cayenne and the red pepper flakes that you're gonna see me use in this recipe, to use a Cajun seasoning. Now here where I live, we love Tony Sacheries, so I would recommend using that. And I would recommend using about a tablespoon. I know that sounds a lot, but I use a tablespoon in my slow cooker red beans and in a lot of my other recipes that have a little spice and a kick that we like here in the South. And I think that would definitely make this recipe better and that's what I'm gonna use for next time. Also, I think I would add a little bit of butter along with that heavy cream. Butter makes everything better, right y'all? So I think a little bit of butter would just make it a little bit more creamy and I would also use some fresh parsley instead of the dried for my topping because I think the fresh parsley that I've used on my Olive Garden recipe and stuff in the past definitely makes it just up a notch and level as far as restaurant quality so those are the things that I would change to it so um, if you're not making this for the first time and you like spicy food, definitely add the things that I just said and I think it will make it even better. So the ingredients that you'll need though if you wanna make it as is, you're gonna need a cup of chicken broth, you're gonna need a fourth of a teaspoon of the cayenne, of the red pepper flakes, of onion powder and of black pepper, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and oregano, dried oregano, um, one and a half teaspoons of paprika. Now, actually a little bit more if you want for the color after the fact. The paprika is really not giving you much of a flavor. It's giving you more of that Cajun looking color, if that makes sense. Then you need a teaspoon of salt, and then you need one and a half pounds to two pounds of chicken breast and you need a white onion. Actually, I used half of a white onion. You don't need that much. Two cups of heavy cream and three fourths cups of Nat of all natural Parmesan, shredded Parmesan. And those are the ingredients you're gonna need. So enough talking, let's get into the recipe. All right guys, so the first thing you're gonna do is add your chicken broth to your crock pot. After you add your chicken broth to your crock pot, you're gonna add all your seasonings in there. Um, when I was filming this, I don't know if it was the blue crock pot. I, I don't think I've ever filmed with the blue one before. It's usually the black one. And the reflection of the light was making it not show up the seasonings very well. But you're gonna add your fourth of a teaspoon of the cayenne, the onion powder, the red pepper flakes, and the pepper. Then a half a teaspoon of that garlic powder and oregano flakes. Then 
one and a half teaspoons of your paprika and one teaspoon of your salt. After you add all of your ingredients, you're gonna take a whisk and just whisk it around really nicely and get it prepped for your chicken breasts. All right, at this point, we're gonna be putting our chicken breast into the mixture with the chicken broth and the seasonings. You wanna put it in and then flip it over so all that chicken gets drenched in that yumminess of your chicken broth and your spices so it really incorporates as it's cooking. You're gonna put the onions on top as well, so scatter the onions on top, and then you're going to put the lid on and cook on low for six hours. So when it gets close to almost being done cooking, you wanna have your fettuccine cooked. So I'm just gonna boil some fettuccine, let it drain on the side and get that prepped and ready for your chicken mixture once it gets done cooking after the six hour mark. All right, y'all, so now I'm going to take my handheld mixer. This was a tip from Vanessa, Lemonade Mom, and her husband, Mark, that when you're shredding anything, instead of doing it with forks, just take out your handy-dandy mixer, mixer, and it works every time. I mean, this is like the best tip, life hack ever that I got from them, and it saves me so much time. All right, y'all, at this point, we're gonna put our two cups of our heavy whipping cream in the mixture with the chicken, and we're gonna give it a good stir, and then we're gonna add that half a cup of our Parmesan cheese, and also give it a good stir before we add any other ingredients. At this point, we're going to put our cooked fettuccine noodles in there. We're going to give it a good stir. And then after we stir our fettuccine noodles, we're going to add some more of that Parmesan cheese on top. About a fourth of a cup. You can be generous here. I know I sure was. I added way more than I was supposed to, I think. So we're going to add the Parmesan cheese on top. And as you can see, I'm sprinkling a little bit more here. And then you're also going to add some more paprika for color and also the parsley. And like I said, if you can get fresh parsley and cut it up, I definitely recommend that over using the dry parsley that you're going to see. I'm going to actually be using Italian seasoning, so I recommend using the fresh parsley. It definitely will make it taste better and like restaurant quality for sure. All right, after you add all that, make sure you put the lid back on and you're going to cook it on high for 20 minutes so all of those cheeses and those flavors can marry. All right, y'all, so this is the final product after on high for 20 minutes. All those cheeses have melted. It looks scrumptious. I did go back and stir this and add some more cheese. I know guilty as charged, and I added some more of my Italian seasoning and of my um, paprika. On the plate here, you can see I've added a little bit more cheese for topping. I mean, cheese just makes everything better, and like I said, this was good as is, but we, my husband, he's, he's not even much of a fan of spicy food. I like things more spicy than he does, and he said that this was bland to him, which I was surprised because you can definitely taste the flavors, but it was not spicy at all. And the original recipe, they ranted and raved about how this recipe was so spicy and it had such a kick. It does not. So if you're looking for that, if you want the Cajun type of flavor, definitely do my recommendations from the beginning of the video and add those things. And I think that's going to make it tweaked just the way that we want it for us Cajun 
um, liking folks here. <laughs> so I will update y'all um, maybe in a grocery haul or some somewhere I'll update y'all on if I make this again. And I'll probably put it in a pinned comment on this recipe for anyone that watches it later, um, th how it turned out when I make those tweaks to it. So guys, please give this video a thumbs up if you're loving Foodie Fridays. And if you're loving the viewer's choice and Crock-Pot videos, y'all know Crock-Pot videos are my thing. I love making anything in the Crock-Pot is just right up my alley since I'm a working mom. And I know a lot of y'all appreciate that as well. Don't forget to go and check out Vanessa's channel if you have an Instant Pot. Um, she does lots of other videos too, guys, that you would just love. If you love my videos, you'll love her if you're not already subbed to her channel. And she does a lot of um, freezer meals and crock pot meals. So definitely go and check her out and let her know that I sent you over and show her some love. Please hit that subscribe button if you're not with me already because I'd love to have you a part of the YouTube family. And y'all have a great weekend. Enjoy your Friday. Come back and let me know if you made this and if you made any tweaks. I'd love to hear your suggestions on what you would do to change it up as well. I love when y'all come back and tell me that. Definitely helps me out for future cooking as well. Love you guys so much, and we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.